guys, Sandra here from Create in Spain. I'm using Affinity Designer today. I want to show you how you add a clipping mask to shapes, or at least it's the version of a clipping mask. If you were using Procreate, it would be a clipping mask. Um, in here, it's worked slightly differently, but you can get the same effect. So if you want to actually paint inside the lines, as it were, this is how you do it. Now at the moment I'm in the vector persona, as in this tab here, and I use this tab on the left, the shape tool, to draw some shapes. Now I'm going to go into my layers, and you can see that they're on different layers, so I pick out the one that I want. Now I need to go to my brush tool, and I want to select the brush tool on the left hand side there. Now, if I pick up this particular shape, whoops, didn't mean to do that. If I go into my layers, I've got my shape here, and it's selected. So I come up here to this three dot, and I go to insert inside, which is down there. Go to my brushes, ensure I have my brush tool selected, and pick a brush of my choice. Now you want to go to the color swatch and you want to make sure you don't have colors pre-selected and then you will get the original color that you did your brush design in. So there we go, it's just exactly where it should be. Now if you go up to the three dots again, there are other options. You can insert behind, you can insert on top, as well as the insert inside. But it's the insert inside which is going to give you the clip mask. I keep forgetting to put the select tool on. If I select that one there and I go up here and I can go to insert inside, but I can now go to my pixel brushes if I want to and go to these. I've got lots of different pattern ones. Click on my brushes. Yeah, I've got brushes selected. Now I've got the heart selected there. And if I do that, my pixel brushes stay within the lines as well. So vector outlines, then you can use this little insert inside here. Now, so as not to confuse anything, I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to shove everything in the bin and start again. And I'm gonna go through to my pixel persona, use a brush and let's go for markers for example and I'm just going to do some I need some bigger lines than that oops wrong way round <laughs> okay so this is my area that I want to keep my drawing within now if you look at the layer panel I've only got this one layer I want another layer so Put another pixel layer on but I don't want it to go around the outside edges okay so working in my pixel layer I can go to my brushes and go to sandwiches find some more pretty ones and I can go and draw again now remember I'm on this pixel layer here I want my paintbrush on yeah and I want to draw. Now, as you can see, I've drawn over the white space. Didn't want to do that. I wanted it contained in this pink space here. So what I do is I select that pixel layer, I tap and I drag. And at some point when you do that, you'll get this horizontal blue line and you release. And it then confines it to the areas where the pixels of your base area are. So because I've got a very sort of um, open edge because it's basically got pixels dotted around here, there and everywhere, the effect that I've got with my flowers that I've drawn on top is also fading out around the outside edge. If this were a solid edge, then it would be different. So that's how it's done and you will get the clipping mask. Now I'm just going to go and delete all this and I will give you a different example if I go to my brushes and I pick a basic one 
and I'm going to go for a round brush. So here we go, just drawing a general shape. Now, this has only got pixels where you can see the pink. That's the only pixels that there are. And so whatever I put on is going to be confined to those pixels in this particular instance. If you want to fill the entire shape, then you need to make sure it is filled with pixels of a color. So you would go over to your bucket fill and flood fill, which it will eventually do. There we go. For some reason, it doesn't seem to work straight away. Don't know quite why. Anyway, we've got the flood fill on and we now want to do some brush strokes within it, but not out in the white area. So we add another layer and I'm going to go, actually I'm going to pick up some vector brushes this time. Go to my brushes, go to Sandra's and I've got my vector brushes. Make sure I've got my brush tool selected on the left and pick up a brush here. I think I'll go with this one. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger because it's a pretty small brush. And I'm going to do this. And as you can see, it's going everywhere. And it's like, oh dear, what a mistake. I've made a right mess. What I need to do is pick up that curve there, drag it down, wait for that blue line to appear and release. And there we are. It is constricted to the shape that we had so that's how you do it so that's it for this one thanks for watching i'll see you again soon take care now